in mind, the fiscal sustainability. And that is what the principle has guided the Commission throughout from the time it was set. It will always look at fiscal sustainability before advising any state corporation or any public office to actually to make any payment. All right. um, gender pay gap remains a very uh, hot issue in the private sector. It's very uh, round and heavy. I don't know about the, the, the public funds. I don't know about uh, its uh, presence in civil, in civil service. I don't know if they, uh, the survey looks into such an issue. Uh, something you'll just come again. What issue specifically? Gender. Gender. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. I get your question. Now, um, I must say, in Kenya, especially public sector, we don't have that problem. I am aware that in other economies, it is an issue that indeed you find there is disparity of pay based on gender. But by putting in place job evaluation which focuses on the job and not the person. That means that the pay structures that we have today, has, uh, uh, it is gender sensitive. It has nothing to do with gender. It strictly focuses on the job and the worth of the job and not the person. So yes, we don't have that problem in Kenya. I must confirm it's a very positive thing for us and we are proud to say as a country, we don't have that in the, in the public sector. Uh, with regards to the, 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 the drop in the ratio between uh, workers and unemployed, that she was talking about, you mentioned that there's been a drop between the 50 to the 40, which is impressive. But uh, with the target that we have, I think, of 35 percent, how soon do you see that being achieved? 2030, 2025, in three years? We, we, we really hope to see that improve significantly after this cycle. However, I must say, remember we said there are two factors. There is the economy, revenue growth, and there is also the management of, uh, of the wage bill, which, which the Commission does. But remember right now, uh, because of the, the pandemic, it is impacting economies worldwide. So in terms of revenue, you will even see as we speak today, and you have seen the revenue is not on, on target. So it's, it's a bit early for us to say when can we achieve because it is two factors. We can only control how much, what we advise. But the revenue side um, is not, with, it's, it's not something we can predict at the moment what, it will, what will happen. So because of that, we can't really say this is what it will be. It depends on how the economy performs as well. If the revenue continues to grow the way it did in the past years, and we put in place the measures that we've been doing as a commission, then definitely we can say confidently, yes, the number will come down. But again, we, we, we will really live to see what happens on the, to the economy in general. Obviously, in the last three financial years, the, the, the revenue figures paid around one point, let's say one point. Na mtazamaji ni taarifa ambayo tunaipata moja kwa moja kutoka hapa jini Nairobi ambapo tume inatangaza mipango ya marupurupu na kutokana na mwenyekiti wa tume hiyo Lin Mengich amegusia kwamba mfumo mpya wa fedha utatumika mwaka ujao na kuongezwa ama kukatwa kwa mishahara itategemea na ufanyakazi. Tukia